and so I'm going to invite these young people, or seven of them, to come and uh, stand with me. And if you want to come up this way, and I'll, I'll introduce you as you come up. Uh, the first one is Matthew Godkin. Or, or Matt. <laughs> I'll call him Matt. Keep coming, guys. Keep coming. Closely followed by uh, Michelle McComb. Bethany Godkin. Hello. <laughs> Ali Beasy. Oh, you were wrong. Ali Kendall. Josh. <laughs> That's Josh Kinder and Blake Cogan. Well, aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Aren't they wonderful? This is a call to be a senior soldier of the Salvation Army. It's a call. It's a calling to be a follower of Jesus. It's a calling to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. And it's a calling that you should not take lightly. You see, the promises that you make today and the promises that you sign here are not promises to me. They're not promises to the Salvation Army. They're not promises to the General. They're promises to God that makes them binding. And that's exactly what a covenant is. A covenant is an agreement. It's a contract between two people. And if one person breaks the covenant, then the covenant's not binding. And so I want to encourage you today not to take this lightly. I know you don't. I know you don't. Everyone who wishes to become soldiers of the Salvation Army are required to sign the Articles of War, also known as the Soldiers' Covenant. And in so doing, they testify. And they testify to these things. And today, Blake, Josh, Emily, Ali, Bethany, Michelle and Matt, you declare these things in the presence of God and of your family and friends here. That you will be responsive to the Holy Spirit and seek to grow in grace. That you will make the values of the Kingdom of God the standard for your lives showing Christian integrity in your deeds, maintaining Christian ideals in your relationships, and upholding the sanctity of family life and marriage when it comes about. You declare that you will be faithful stewards of all that you have and are, that you will abstain from the use of all enslaving substances and harmful activities, that you will be active in God's work both in sharing the gospel and in serving the needy, and that you will contribute financially to the support of the Kingdom of God. You also declare that you will be true to the principles of the Salvation Army, and you witness that you freely enter into this covenant with God, convinced that the love of Christ requires the devotion of your life to His service for the salvation of the whole world. And you declare your determination, by God's help, to be true soldiers of the Salvation Army. Blake, Josh, Emily, Ali, Bethany, Michelle and Matt. Do you each declare in the presence of God and this congregation that you undertake by the help of God's Holy Spirit to live and work as a true soldier of Jesus Christ and of the Salvation Army, according to the witness and promises you make this day. If so, raise your right hand and say, I do. You also have a, uh, a covenant to sign, and uh, in a moment I'm going to ask you to, to do the same as uh, the adherents did to uh, take a, a covenant, the soldier's covenant from Sandra and to kneel at the mercy seat. Um, we've chosen one person to, uh, to sign that with you. There's a place on it for a witness. Um, I've already signed as a court officer and um, I'm going to invite you to uh, just go and meet that person and bring them down and kneel with them. They can say a prayer with you. And uh, I think it might be appropriate this morning too if there's maybe one or two other family members, just one or two, that maybe while they're praying and signing the covenant, if you would like to come and stand behind 
um, for each person and, and just pray with them and support them in this time. I'm going to invite you to do that. Of the men I call, of the Salvation Army. May God bless you. May God continue by His Holy Spirit to guide you and direct you. And may God bless our Salvation Army and the salvation of souls, the growing saints and the serving of suffering humanity through you and through all of His faithful servants. God bless you. classes, that really nailed it for me because it means that I can, from what I did in that community, I want to do back here and one way of doing it is through senior scholarship. Um, I'll serve in ministry mainly through um, tech, I'll be Mark's technical assistant because he has no idea how to use technology at all. Um, and my favourite, or not my favourite, but a memory verse that stuck with me this week because um, at school in partial care, um, our teacher said this, and it's really stuck me this week. It says, "We love, we love because He first loved us." John, one John four verse nineteen, and um, that's really just stuck with me this week. And that's what I want to do. I'm turning to the younger soldier of Mount Salvation Army today. Um, I'm going to I guess it's my way of saying, God, I'm 100% committed to you. Um, and I'm going to do my best, um, yeah, I guess, to try and display Jesus to the world, that others might um, come to know him through me. And, um, yeah, I'm going to serve in ministry, mainly through my, I run a small group for younger girls. And, yeah, I'm really passionate about the Bible's Bible to God. And, um, yeah, I want them to come get stronger and yeah, my favourite Bible verse is Isaiah 41, 10. Um, do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be anxious, for I am your God. I will strengthen and help you. <laughs> <laughs> I will help you with my righteous money. Um, I want to be a soldier today because I knew that um, God wanted me to take that next step. And um, I wanted to, to step up and just say, I'll fight this fight for you, God. And um, just that song we sang before, some of that, like, the world for God, um, I'll give my heart, I'll give my heart. And um, yeah, that's just my testimony today. And um, yeah, so in ministry, I'm just starting to be soldiers next year, so I'm excited to do that. And um, also, like, just um, build the youth, youth up, be part of the team, I just want to see the youth make the right decisions and just start to them up. And um, my favourite Bible verse, um, for a little while, has been Romans 8:38. And I can't remember it off the heart, but um, it pretty much just declares God's love for us no matter what. And um, that stuff for me for a long time. I'm just to become a soldier because uh, God's love never fails. And I want to show His love through me to other people. It's pretty much just it. I, I just love God and I want Him to know that I love Him. So I'm going to go and do that to what I'm saying. Um, I do girls' club on Wednesday, so I guess my ministry will be to younger kids and my passion to bring 
the out, outside of the church people and try and get them involved in the church and try and get them to love God because it's the best. <laughs> um, my favourite verse is Psalms um, 1383 and it says, I went, When I called you, you answered me, you made me bold and stout hearted. Um, for me, Dad summed up four ways of calling for me. And um, so I'm here today to say, Yes, Lord, I'm, I'm happy, to, I'm willing to do whatever you want me to do. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> As in ministry, I'm most passionate about young people and seeing them come to Jesus and passionate about them growing deeper in a relationship with Him. So, um, yeah, I serve here at Men. I, I run a Bible study for some of the younger guys and part of the youth team. So, yeah, I'm real passionate about that. And, oh, Bible well, <laughs> verse. Um, yeah, uh, Matthew 6 3. Um, I see first. Great opportunity for us to uh, to celebrate. 